What's up guys, it's Dr. GTA coming to you with a little tutorial on how to install and how to edit textures and export them using a couple different programs, um, Adobe, Photoshop, CS5, or any Photoshop version using OpenIV, and that's pretty much all you need, and we're going to show you and get into it right now. Simple tutorial, and I'm going to try to break it down as very simple on how to do everything using DDS and PNG formats. If you want to see that, hit like, and don't, don't forget to subscribe because I upload uh, GTA 5 content, trolling, tutorials, tech tips, other funny gameplays, as well as LSPDFR and other stuff. So I guess we'll go ahead and get into it. First off, you need to open up OpenIV. You can download it in the description. You hit Windows on GTA 5. Obviously, you're with Windows. Um, then you're going to navigate to um, wherever your file is that you're editing or updating. So I guess if you found a file, you got to go to that. I'd recommend making a mods folder because all the files in your mods folder will be read by OpenIV as mods and you can keep all your backups in here just in case you don't want to use the mods. You can uninstall the OpenIV ASI which if you go to your GTA 5 root it should be right here. If you don't have it you can install it using tools, ASI manager and there should be two things in here which will be the D input and the OpenIV ASI. You need both of these to run in the game in order to get the uh, script mod in order to, for the mods folder to load the modded files if you don't want to load the modded files you just hit the uninstall button and uninstall OpenIV ASI but you leave the ASI loader and you close it and you can just run your game and you will have those files now with that said we'll go ahead and break this down say I'm going to edit a vehicle file and they're telling me it's an update x64 DLC packs patch 4 and this is just a random address you don't have to memorize it levels GTA 5 vehicles a vehicle uh, texture I'll go to the texture, say it's police, right? Okay, so I want to edit some textures in here, right? Um, there's a couple different ways you can choose to edit the textures. You see there's textures, you can select one, and you can export the selected one. You can export it in PNG, DDS, JPEG, or bitmap, whichever one, but PNG is probably the lightest, DDS is probably the best quality. If you're using Photoshop, I recommend DDS. Um, or if you need to edit all of them, you can hit export all, you hit this button right here, DDS or whatever, and you just put it somewhere and it'll put all of them in that place. So say we're going to edit um, this sheriff light texture and we want to take out the uh, glass, this glass part right here. This is part of the light bar that is too thick, maybe it's too bright or something, I don't know. Okay, so say we want to do that. We're going to edit the texture, we need to export it. Um, obviously you will see here there's some settings here. There's the name, there's the resolution, there's the DXT texture file level, and there's the MIP maps 7. If you don't know what this is, this is DXT5, which basically is a level for sharpness and resolution using an in-game program, so it filters it to look at that resolution. Um, MIP map 7 is how big, how far away you can see it, pretty much how many MIP maps f further away they zoom out and scales it. Um, and you don't have to worry about anything, I'm just telling you that for basic. And you'll notice other ones have DXT1, MIP map 8, DXT1, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so say we're going to do this one. We'll export it. DXT5, MIP map 7. You can do PNG or DDS. We'll do um, DDS. Export it to desktop. Then we'll go open up Photoshop. Once you get Photoshop open, file open, and you go to your desktop, shareflights.dds. Sometimes it's just called share flights. It doesn't matter. Make sure you load using default sizes and you do not have these checked. Do not load the flipped vertically. Do not load mip maps. Show the dialog and click OK. Now you've got it successfully loaded. Now what you're going to do is double click over here. Click OK. And then go in and do your editing to the texture or whatever you want to do. Um, once you get ed everything edited, you're going to go file and you're going to go to save as and you're going to do DDS, D3D or slash DDS and click save. And it's going to overwrite, yes, overwrite, or you can make backups, whatever. But um, the level here, here's your options. Okay, so if you're going to do something like a vehicle texture, like on the car, you want to use DXT1, okay? If you're going to use something that has glass on it or has something that, that light has to shine through and it's a DXT1, you're going to use DXT1 ARGB with 1-bit alpha. The alpha is what makes it shine through. No alpha makes it white. So whatever is lighter is going to turn white if you have no alpha when you export it and you try to view the PNG or the DDS in the OpenIV. If it has um, clearness to it, then obviously it's going to be see-through through the window, so it'll be one bit alpha, so it'll have an alpha channel. Now this one's DXT5, so it's the same principle. 
This one is DXT5 ARGB interpolated alpha. It's using interpolated. This one is not using alpha. So you use this one with no alpha and this one with alpha. I haven't seen anybody use one that doesn't need alpha. So I always use this one. So you hit that for that. Make sure it's still 2D. Um, then you're going to go to generate new, always generate new. And obviously you pick your number of MIP maps, which was what? 7? DXT5, 7. And go back and look at it again. DXT5, 7. That's all you got to do. Hit save. And then when you're done, it should do really quickly, unless you have a slow computer. Then you go up here to import, or if you want to be finicky, you can select the texture that you want to replace and hit replace, then hit this and hit OK. And once it does it, it'll just update the file here and then make sure you hit the save button because if you don't hit the save button, it won't update it. Now say we'll do um, the DXT1 mipmap 7. If I'm going to export, say, that texture, Let's export it real quick. DXT1 mipmap 7. I'm going to export that to the desktop as a, let's do a PNG this time, police new 2. So now we'll go back here and we'll go file open. We'll go open up police new 2. Boom. You can see it loaded it like this. Obviously, um, if you go back and look at the file, there's nothing very clear on here. So it's, it's okay to use a PNG. If we would have loaded this one, exporting as a PNG, and we try to open it, Let's see what it looks like here. Boom. You can see it still is an alpha, so it's still good. It just depends on if you want to do PNG or not. I recommend DDS, though. Okay, so we'll go ahead and close that out, and we'll go back to this. So now we're working with this. DXT1 mipmap 7. Say you edited this, and you're done with it, and you're exporting it. Save it as. Let's just run it as a D3D. You can run it to, to D3D or from D3D to PNG, whichever matters. doesn't really matter. Hit save. And then um, you're going to go, um, you obviously obviously want to always export as DDS because if you don't, you're not going to get these options if you need to change stuff. Okay, so generate mipmaps. It's seven, I think it was. Let's see. Seven mipmaps, DXT1. Obviously, this has no alpha because what is it? It's a skin. You're right. DXT1, no alpha. Save. Alpha information will be lost. Okay, you can go ahead and do that if you want to because there's no alpha anyway and you go up here and you obviously import click on your new one police new or this one whichever one notice this is 608 600 kilobytes this one's 200 so you're definitely getting better quality from the newer one as a DDS so I recommend using that you can import that and you're good to go now we'll go over one last thing bump maps say you're going to make a badge once you get the badge done uh, you're making this badge Say you replace this badge we'll expect export it obviously using DDS you go back here, we'll file, open it, say you're done editing the police badge, and obviously load that all the same. Um, you look at it, you'll see that um, it's all, you say you're done editing this, okay? Make sure that's unlocked. You'll go over here, and you'll go up here and go file, save as, and DDS. You want to replace, yes, and then you want to go look and see what it was set as, DXT5, mipmap 7. You're going to do DXT7 or generate new 7 and you're going to go DXT5. It has an alpha, so it's going to make it white. So that's all you have to do and then save it. And that's pretty much all you have to do for that. Now, if you want to do this weird looking colored thing that you need, this is called a bump map or a normal map. What it does is it gives it a kind of an edge, a depth. When you look at it, it looks like it's rough, like you could slight touch it and it would feel good, like when you look at the car. You obviously want that with certain badges, textures, decals, other things like that on vehicles. This is always going to be used mostly in every vehicle you import or export. So if it has that, it's always going to have an underscore N. It's the same name, underscore N. It's a 256, 128. You never want to change resolutions either. It's DXT1 mipmap 7. So in order to, to export this, you're going to download the plug in the description. And you're going to go to filters, NVIDIA tools, normal map filter. And you're not going to change any settings. You're going to make sure it's all default here. You're going to do um, average RGB. You're going to do four sample. It doesn't really matter. You're not going to do anything different. Um, you don't have to do any of this. this is preview stuff. All you're going to do is hit this scale button right here. And I would recommend between 20 and 30 level. And then you hit OK. And it's going to turn it into that. See if I undo and we go back and do it again and look at how the levels change. We'll go. We did 30. Let's do 15. See, there's an even nicer one too. So then when you're done with that, all you have to do is do what? That's pretty much all you had to do because obviously it looks the same. So now what you're done with that, all you do is go file, save as, 
you go um, DDS but make sure you save it as the other DDS the obviously the normal map because if you're doing it from the normal map making a new one you you're not going to have you're not going to be exporting this so you're not going to have this name underscore in so you got to make sure you don't name it this you got to underscore and put it in almost every file trends if it's a normal map that's purple or blue like this just adding underscore in to the end of the file name not including the DDS now once that's done you click save and obviously we go back here and file check it again bump map is DXT1 mipmap 7 we go down here this has an alpha so we are doing one bit alpha DXT7 click OK boom you're done go up here police and you can import your uh, new textures or whatever you need it to do police badge click OK boom it imports it you can go see that it's nice um, one thing that you can do that if you don't like doing this like this you can come back over here and say like it's a little chunky and it does look sometimes they look bad you can go back and you can do file save as again you can do a DDS obviously a underscore DDS and then you're going to do no alpha so it just depends depending on how the, how it works sometimes they don't use it and then you go up here file import import the new police badge boom if you go down here it's nice where it was um, all you have to do is hit save when you're done and that's all you have to do and then you can exit go play the game and it'll load up all your textures um, that's pretty much it for this tutorial thanks for watching guys hit like if it helps you subscribe for more and don't forget if you do mess up on something and you import it and you overwrite a file if you don't want to save it just hit cancel when you go back in there your files will be all the same that they were before so yeah that's pretty much it guys for my little tutorial Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys later.